Chris Hemsworth doesn't seem to have a lot of secrets, but there's a lot we don't really know about the Aussie star, especially when it comes to sibling rivalry, sewing, and his early career struggles. Here's the untold truth of People Magazine's Sexiest Chris of 2019. Today we know Chris Hemsworth as Thor, but if the actor went with his first instinct, he probably wouldn't be acting at all. In fact, a passion for sewing initially made him want to be a fashion designer. For some reason, Cross Stitch <laughs> was one that I enjoyed. Yes, the rugged outdoorsman who, according to GQ, once accidentally stabbed himself with a knife while fishing in the Australian outback is apparently as adept with a sewing needle as he is with Thor's hammer. Hemsworth's humble upbringings are no secret. According to his interview with GQ, he spent some of his childhood in the outback while his dad worked at cattle ranches. The brief stints in the Northern Territory helped his family save money, but his parents still stressed about bills. Since he couldn't afford trendy clothes, Hemsworth took to sewing his own. Sort of. The passion was pretty short-lived, but he maintains in a W Magazine interview that he really did consider being a designer. I don't think that went very far. I think I'd might have sewed a leg together or something, <laughs> but, but there was a period when I was like, that's it, I'm going to be a designer and make clothes. If you regularly get the Hemsworth brothers confused, you're not alone. Chris, Liam, and Luke are the epitome of Hollywood's idea of handsomeness. Needless to say, the boys had quite a rivalry growing up, particularly between Chris and younger bro Liam. In an interview on The Graham Norton Show, Liam admitted that the fights between him and Chris sometimes turned a little violent. He compared their, quote, vicious childhood rivalry to the Hunger Games, and even revealed that weapons were sometimes involved. During one particularly violent fight, the pair were in the kitchen fighting over a toaster oven. So Liam picked up a kitchen knife and threw it at Chris. And uh, the handle hit him in the head. The oh, the handle side got yeah. him. Yeah, it was just like a warning, like if you mess with me, I'll throw a knife in the head. Hemsworth didn't have to wait too long to land a gig in L.A. According to Men's Health, the star scored the role of Captain Kirk's father in J.J. Abrams' Star Trek shortly after arriving on American soil. That's the American dream, right? Well, not so much for this movie star. As it turns out, that role was kind of his breaking point, and Hemsworth almost shipped back to Australia before he really gave Hollywood a chance. Even though Star Trek was helmed by one of the industry's most revered directors and met with critical acclaim, Hemsworth struggled to land another gig. His phone stopped ringing and anxiety took hold of his career. The actor even briefly considered asking for his role back on the Australian soap opera Home and Away. He told Men's Health, I was about to quit. I got more and more anxious to the point where I couldn't harness or use that energy. It was all to my detriment. Motivated by the idea of paying off his parents' home, he went on one last audition before Christmas in 2008. If he didn't land it, he'd resolve to go back home with his tail between his legs. Thankfully, the audition happened to be for The Cabin in the Woods, and the success of Joss Whedon's campy horror film ended up pushing Hemsworth into the spotlight. Thor almost looked a lot different, or at least slightly different, considering Chris and Liam Hemsworth have undeniably similar features. Before Chris landed his Marvel role, his little brother nearly scooped it out from underneath him. In an interview with Vanity Fair, Chris admitted that his initial audition for Thor didn't go so well. However, things went a lot better for Liam, who had been selected as one of the final four contenders. Drew Goddard and Avengers director Joss Whedon, who both worked with Chris on The Cabin in the Woods before landing Marvel projects of their own, were confused about how his little brother made the cut but not him. Both of them were looking at the trades at the sort of top five guys for four and saying, why aren't you in the mix here? What happened? I said, I don't know. I blew my audition, I guess. According to Chris, Whedon thought that was crazy. And when casting opened back up, Whedon called Thor director Kenneth Branagh and told him to give Chris another shot. Thanks to landing a role in the Avengers franchise, Chris has since been able to take on passion projects, or as he told Vanity Fair, a few films no one cares about. Hemsworth and his wife Elsa Pataki sort of did things backwards. The Fast and the Furious franchise actress apparently agreed to marry the movie star Norse God before he even popped the question. According to GQ, the couple first met through a dialect coach, and Hemsworth proposed just nine months later. While it may have seemed sort of quick, the actor was totally over his bachelor lifestyle. He told GQ, The fame, the parties, the women, I did that stuff back home when I was on Home and Away. The Marvel actor and Pataki have since welcomed three children. Meanwhile, the Spanish starlet has always been super supportive of Hemsworth's career, and even lent a helping hand when Natalie Portman was forced to bail on a Thor reshoot. 
According to an interview for W Magazine, Pataki stood in for a final kiss scene, and audiences were none the wiser because she and Portman just so happened to be the same height. And I said, well, my wife's around the corner, <laughs> let's get her in. And she's the same height. I won't have to explain to her what I've been doing at work if I'm having to kiss someone else. Taking on Thor was no easy task for Hemsworth. While we know him to be utterly ripped, this wasn't always the case. The movie star not only had to wear an annoying wig to take on the Norse god, he also had to gain 20 pounds of muscle, which was far from pleasant. So how did he do it? By overeating, also known as the American way. Hemsworth committed himself to consuming a constant stream of food. A dream in concept, but pretty terrible in actuality. It's not like he was chowing down on ice cream. The star had to focus his energy on protein-packed foods and fibrous fruits and vegetables. He told Men's Health, I feel as if I've been busy, but all I've been doing is eating all day. Eating when you're not hungry and taking in that amount of food is exhausting. Hemsworth also started lifting weights and completing actual workouts instead of simply surfing and playing sports. It's a good look. Hemsworth is one of those great actors who will do anything for a role. His transformations adeptly go from one extreme to another. As quickly as the star got used to eating all day to become a hammer-wielding god, he just as easily snapped back his calories to basically nothing in order to look like an emaciated castaway. In an interview with Good Morning America, the actor revealed that he lost 33 pounds in four weeks for 2015's In the Heart of the Sea, which was a heck of a lot harder than gaining muscle for Thor. His extreme dieting, which consisted of consuming just 500 to 700 calories a day, gave him a, quote, moody existence and inconsistent emotions. Hemsworth reportedly ate boiled eggs, salads, and in his words, nothing much. It's safe to say most people would be pretty moody living like that. However, this struggle really helped him portray a man stuck at sea for months. He explained, In order to do it justice, the story, we had to suffer in some way, and we did. It was, in other words, not a whole lot of acting was required. We were desperate. He was in the whole time diminishing your calorie intake and right. getting hungrier and moodier and more unpleasant to be around, <laughs> you know? Hemsworth isn't just a superhero in the movies. In real life, he's a super dad, and he's even got the ink to prove it. According to the Daily Mail, he and his wife share matching tattoos that spell out the first letters of their kids' names in the runic alphabet. Meanwhile, the actor also decided to permanently ink one of his daughter's drawings on his arm after she joined in on a tattoo planning session. According to Men's Health, Hemsworth was trying to create a tattoo idea with a friend who specializes in geometry work. Nothing was sticking until his daughter woke up, walked out of her bedroom, and refused to go back to sleep against her father's wishes. Instead, she crawled onto his lap, started drawing, and the perfect tattoo was born. Hemsworth's friend printed out her drawings, placed them on the actor's arm, and tattooed right over the top without fixing a single line. The proud dad said, See how they're a little bit crooked and kind of off? I said, Definitely don't neaten it out. It's exactly how she drew it. Chris Hemsworth isn't exactly a rule follower. What kind of dad would the Aussie star be if he didn't try to give his daughter the best Disneyland experience possible? Well, perhaps a safer one. In an interview on Jimmy Kimmel Live, the Avengers Endgame star admitted that he became his daughter's hero when he snuck her onto the Tower of Terror, which notably became the Guardians of the Galaxy ride in 2017, according to the Los Angeles Times. To help boost her height and get her on the ride, Hemsworth shoved candy bars into the back of her shoes. An instant lift that came with consequences, considering those height restrictions are there for a reason. And I'm like, you know, we beat the system, honey, well done. <laughs> and then it drops and she's like, <laughs> grab onto her, she's like screaming the whole way down. Hemsworth ended up having to hold her in her chair the whole time. Whoops. I was like, maybe, maybe there's a reason that there's a, a, a height. Maybe. Liam Hemsworth's relationship with Miley Cyrus has always been subjected to tabloid speculation. It's almost a miracle that the pair managed to wed in secret, no thanks to Big Brother Chris. During an interview with Britain's This Morning, the Thor star admitted that he nearly blew the lid off the whole thing when private photos he took at the ceremony ended up in the wrong hands. Chris brought a film camera to the Tennessee nuptials, and anyone who's ever tried to get film developed in 2019 knows it's no easy process. 
Though the actor had been using the same photo spot for years, the shop accidentally sent the Dropbox link of the more than 200 wedding pictures to a 21-year-old stranger named Elvira Nordstrom, who went on Instagram to let everyone know what had happened. For his part, Hemsworth was terrified the pictures would be leaked. You know, I got her phone number, a contact, and called her up, and and she couldn't have been kinder and said, "Don't worry, I'm not going to do anything with them, and and they're, they're safe." And so. I mean, that, was a, that was lucky. a big relief, but... Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.